Thousands of Fresno Unified School District students had their very first classes today, but construction projects are underway at several schools across the valley, which could impact your morning commutes. Our Sydney Charles spoke with the school officials and joins us live from Del Mar Elementary School. Sydney, what can you tell us? Yeah, that's right. Emily Cruz here at Del Mar Elementary School, all working on building a new cafeteria, new administration buildings, and also a new early lear learning building as well. The humming of generators and the sound of drills could be heard at Del Mar Elementary School as students were welcomed back for their first day of classes. Principal Nicole Wood says construction affects where parents can drop their kids off. We have a pickup area in the back of the school where it's a quieter, not as busy area for pickup and drop offs. It was moved because of construction to Hampton. She says construction didn't stop the kids from enjoying their first day back. We love the first day of school. It's a fresh start every year. Crews have been working diligently so students learning isn't interrupted. The construction company really works hard to do those louder uh, procedures before students start learning, which we appreciate. Del Mar isn't the only school undergoing construction. A few blocks southeast on Sierra Vista Avenue, work is being done at Scandinavian Middle School, causing several parts of the parking lot to be blocked off. We're doing an additional about $210 million worth of federal stimulus funds, which is what you see here. Alex Bellinger with Fresno Unified says crews are building a new portable office space creating a unique challenge for the first day of classes. A lot of people like to drop their students off the first day, and so the sites are impacted with lots and lots of students, school buses, things of that nature. But the whole thing is kind of a dance, and our goal is to get better every day. He says several Fresno Unified schools are under construction right now in order to make sure they meet growing student populations. And we're expanding past the existing design capacity for most of our campuses. So a lot of these were constructed many years ago, and at that time schools were much smaller. And if any parents have any questions, he says you can download the Let's Talk app and a school representative will get back to you. Reporting live in Fresno, Sydney Charles, KC24 Local News That Matters. Emily